Hello everyone, I'm David Carlin with B&D Genetics. Uh, we're here in Cherry Valley at our main office and location. Uh, we offer ruminant reproduction services, mainly for small ruminants. That's going to be your sheep, goats, and white-tailed deer. Uh, we do artificial insemination, embryo transfer collection. We also do in vitro fertilization and uh, semen collection, which is what we're going to kind of go over today, uh, mainly the storage components of that. You can see this is another form of a nitrogen tank. We have to keep these. So nitrogen is a liquid that emits as a gas. You can see that when it comes up, it's a gas, so it burns off as it's in the atmosphere, so we have to replenish it. This is just a nitrogen tank that we have that's pressurized where we can fill our other tanks. Uh, it's commercially available. It's not nothing special. Uh, we get it delivered just right up the road here. So negative 196 Celsius is what we're discussing on that. And so once they're frozen, these liquid nitrogen tanks, you can see are round. They have what's known as a canister on the inside of them that actually holds the samples. And so if you want to use some right over here, I actually have some. And so if you look right over here, you can see that we have the tab on top. And that's how we identify them when we're looking in the tank and we're trying to find something. Quickly, we can look at them. We can see that that says Artemis on the top, and then we can actually look a little further. So we have a semen tab. The aluminum part is called the cane, and then the goblet. The straws are actually within the goblet, and they're seated in a shelf on the actual aluminum cane. And so this is a fairly large semen tank. Uh, you see it has a roller base on it, but uh, it'll hold around 25 to 3,500 units. Uh, what we can do is, is, so I guess I should say, one of the main uh, questions we have is how long will it maintain? How long will this stand there? As long as you keep this tank cold to where it's supposed to be, the samples, as long as they stay frozen, they can, they can remain indefinitely. That was part of my master's project. We looked at cow semen that was, excuse me, was frozen between 1950 and 1960 and was kept frozen at that time period up until that was in 2008 to 2010. We saw no difference in pregnancy rates. We saw no difference wow. in cost all evaluations. So in order to technically stop time, this theoretically, scientifically, you can stop time with that genetic material. And so the theory is, is that the USDA germplasm bank has these samples stored if we were to have some type of wipeout of some species uh, we're able to reproduce them with the frozen genetic material. This little looking thing here is what's known as a semen shipper. This is a mushroom. So if we ship semen across the country, even across the world, we have to do it in one of these. Uh, they're a lot smaller. They're what's known as a dry shipper. This one, which holds liquid in it, this one actually you put liquid in it and it's absorbed through the walls. And it's actually shipped dry. We cannot ship liquid through the mail. We have to ship it dry. However, it is still 196 as far as Celsius was. This is one of our latest tanks that we have. We've been getting another one here for too long. This one will hold uh, somewhere around 35,000. You can see that, like I said, there's liquid down here in the bottom, but again, it's emitting as a gas as it's popping off and so it is very cold it will burn you but i do deal with it a lot so very quickly <laughs> you wow. can mess with it very quickly but i wouldn't keep my hands in it and so another question people have is well how do you use the semen once you have it frozen obviously uh we want to use some of this semen uh, you thaw it out in about a 97 98 degree water bath in approximately about a minute the semen will come viable and you're able to use it and so the best thing or the easiest way I can tell you <clears throat> to relate to how this works is that the sperm cell itself uh, we use what's known as an extender that we put with it the glycerol permeates the sperm cell and removes the water from the sperm cell just like antifreeze in your car in your radiator if you have straight water in your radiator what's going to happen your pipes freeze they break they crack we put antifreeze in there to keep that from happening I'm doing essentially the same thing, except it's not an antifreeze. We do appreciate your time. We do appreciate you coming. If you have any questions, feel free to call us or contact your local extension agent.